A curved or phased array transducer with an abdomen exam type is used to perform an aorta ultrasound exam. The entire length of the aorta from the level of the diaphragm to the bifurcation of the iliac arteries must be evaluated in two planes. The examination begins with the transducer placed transversely in the epigastric midline with the marker directed to the patient's right. The aorta is seen as a round, pulsatile structure, anterior to the bright reflection of the vertebra. The vena cava is an oval structure, immediately to the left of the aorta on the screen, which changes in caliber with compression or deep inspiration. The abdominal aorta will course gradually, becoming more superficial as it progresses distally. The transducer is slowly moved distally to identify the celiac trunk, renal arteries, superior mesenteric artery, and bifurcation to the iliac arteries. Note the location of any change in size of the aorta or iliac arteries and measure in long and short axis views from outer wall to outer wall to determine the true diameter. The transducer is returned to the epigastric area and rotated 90 degrees clockwise with the orientation marker to the patient's head. The transducer is swept side to side to identify the maximal diameter of the aorta. The abdominal aorta will have proximal to distal taper. The transducer is moved distally to evaluate the walls of the aorta for any change in the shape or size. If the aorta is difficult to visualize due to overlying bowel, gentle downward transducer pressure may encourage peristalsis of the overlying bowel. Alternatively, consider moving the patient into a left lateral decupitus position to reposition the bowel away from the field of view.